that back on. Hi, hello everyone. Happy Wednesday. Hope you're all doing well. Thank you so much for uh, popping in. Man, it's uh, it's been. It feels like it's been a real hot minute since last I was in front of the camera like this. Oh my gosh. Uh, but yeah, very good to see all of you. Hope you're all doing well. Hope you're having a good Sunday. Um, I do. I do apologize for like not being very consistent with my streams lately. My schedule's been all over the place. Um, primarily because of work, but also I've been in and out of like not feeling great. So that's been interfering, but look, look at this. Here we are. We're, we're on camera. We, wow. Woohoo. <laughs> we missed you all. Thank you. Crazy. Thank you. I, I kind of miss doing this. Uh, so today to kind of help ease myself back into being on camera and doing streaming again, at least for a little bit, first of all, I'm probably going to end up changing my schedule a little bit uh, to maybe just streaming on Wednesdays, at least for the uh, for a little while, because weekends are just not working out. Um, I just don't have the time. But uh, Wednesdays, I, I want to keep Wednesdays going because those are my, my my time with all of you. So um, you might you might see me change that on like the uh the channels schedule stuff and wherever else I might just change it to just Wednesdays, but same time as always. Um, we just might skip on some weekends because, but yeah, to help kind of ease my way back into streaming here, we're going to do, do something a little bit different, but what we're actually doing is, uh, what we're doing today is something that I have, been wanting to do for a long time something that i even said i believe on stream at some point that i was going to do like a year ago and now we're finally doing it but you know that that's fine i, I whatever what we're doing is we're going to do a little bit of a headphone modding today i have been on the lookout for a cool great fun headphone grills to do like headphone mod replacements on some high femins of mine. And it has taken me a long time to finally find some. I, I was able to find some, but they I didn't really care much for them. And what I really, really wanted for a long time was to make my own. I wanted to like go to a hardware store and buy a sheet of metal that was, you know, a, a stamped pattern, like a hexag hexagonal pattern or something and cut my own grill out of it and then mod my headphone with that. But I was having absolutely no luck in accomplishing that. Nowhere I went, no hobby store, no hardware store. I could not find anywhere that had anything like that. Just like plain flat sheets of thin metal that were stamped out into a pattern. I couldn't find it and it was driving me absolutely nuts. Game Doc, hello, welcome in buddy. It's very good to see you. I hope you're doing well, man. Hope you're doing well. Thank you for being here. I couldn't find it. And after, I guess, a year or so later, I've given up and I found a guy on eBay who just makes them himself. So we're going that route. I, um, we're, yeah, I he made them. I didn't get to make them. That sucks. But hey, they're going to look freaking sweet, I think. Uh, so yeah, that's what we're doing today. We're going to swap some grills. And to accomplish that in a way that's entertaining for you, I have a different setup I'm trying out for the very first time here. I hope it works. Let's see here. Uh, all right, here we go, everybody. This is still on, so it should be fine. Uh, uh, yeah. yeah. Give it a second. Give it a second. The bandwidth, the bandwidth should, should pick, pick up. up. But, but yes, yes, we have, we have now, now a little, a little bit, of a bit of a dual, dual camera, camera situation. situation. It's not the, it's best. Not the best. I admit, I admit I'm, using I'm using my phone here. here. And getting, and my, getting phone my phone to work as like a, I'm echoing. I'm echoing? Oh, oh, right. Right. Uh, let's see. Let's see. How can, how I, can I? How can I? How can I? Ah, okay. Ah, okay. There. There, that should do it. Am I, not, am I echoing still or am I, am I all clear and good to go? Let me know. You're good? Okay, good. No, <laughs> that did it great. Dope, dope Hoda, dope Hoda, dope Hoda. Welcome in first time. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Happy to have you in with us. Hope you're having a good Wednesday night or morning, wherever you might be. 
but yeah, look at this, uh, dual cameras. Wow. We've haven't done this before. And I know it's a little bit laggy. It's not the best, but it should, I think, hopefully accomplish the task at hand here. Also, my desk is kind of a mess and I apologize, but it is what it is. Second career possibility, a hand model. Oh, oh, uh, everyone, please enjoy. Uh, hold on. In today's stream, we will be using this amazing, fantastic iFixit kit. All of the tools you will ever need, Velcro sounds included, for any and all kind of manner of tech, wizardry, and, and, and manipulation. Look at the case here. This wonderful case as you open up with my beautiful, beautiful hands. Oh, look at all them, them bits and doodads and knobs and such. <laughs> but yeah, we're going to, we're going to do a little bit of tooling and modding and blah, 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 whatever. Cool. So this is how we're going to do it. Hopefully this works out. Okay. We'll see how hashtag not sponsored. <laughs> yeah. So let's get the keyboard kind of out of the way a little bit. That should be okay. Or maybe even there, whatever. I could disconnect it, but I might need it later. So, okay. What are we, what are we modding? We're going to mod these guys, our beloved HE 560s. Now, the 560 is not a headphone for everybody, but I love them. I think they're fantastic for what they can do for that kind of high temple, crazy death metal stuff is freaking badass. And they're beautiful headphones. I do think they look really nice. I love the kind of chrome like finish on the the bits here and around the cups it looks freaking badass especially with some neon pink lighting but this the face here the grill it's a little a little dull a little boring there's nothing wrong with it it operates just fine but what we're going to do today is we're going to replace this with something cool and neat and colorful and contrasty and makes it look just real badass this isn't something you necessarily need to do. It's absolutely not a requirement for this headphone or really any high and headphone to be replacing their, um, their grills. That being said, my understanding is that doing this mod can, I'm using quotations here, can potentially improve the sound. I don't know. I haven't heard them without the default grills. So we'll find out, I guess, but that's not really my goal here. My goal isn't necessarily to improve the sound of these because I actually like the way that they sound for what they do. My goal is just to make them look awesome. So what I got, uh, where'd I put them? Here we go. I got this. Look at that fun logo. I should probably look up the name. Uh, if you're watching this on the YouTubes, I'm going to put the name on screen right here of where I got these, but they're, it's an eBay seller. And uh, yeah, these are freaking dope. Open this guy up. I got two different sets because I wasn't sure which one I liked more, but we'll take a look together. Okay. I'm going to open this guy up and we'll take a look at these grills. Yummy. Oh, we're good. We have a business card. Perfect. Uh, Arctic cables. Okay. There you go. This is from Arctic Cables. I better look up their cables. <laughs> I didn't even know they had cables. Whatever. Cool. So yes, here's what we're dealing with. Look at this. Now that is substantially different than the stock pads. Look at those things. Oh, man. They're nice. Let me pop one of these guys open. I don't know which one I want to use. I got one that's really, really thin, right? It's going to give me a little bit of practice to figure out where the camera is. But look at that. Oh, man, it's so freaking cool. I might save this one for the um, HE6SE because it's a bit more elegant. I feel like that's a bit better, a, a bit of a better fit. So I think for the 560s here, we'll do these guys, which still just look freaking dope. Just a nice, simple hexagonal shape, but it's really cool. It's super cool. All right, let's, oh. Um, okay, foam bit, that's fine. Let's open these guys up. Now, what's really cool about these guys and was really kind of the selling point for me to buy 
from them specifically is that these, let me open this up so you can actually maybe get a better look at this. Oh my gosh, I'm getting static fingers. Probably not a good thing to have when you're modding headphones, but oh well. Got ASMR for you. Yeah, oh, look at that. That's sick. I dig it. I dig it. You like the design? I'd say it depends on how those thin caps stand out in the cans. That's a good point. That is a good point. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. But yeah, so the determining factor of why I went with Arctic cables here is that these are actually um, powder coated, powder coated paint. So it's not just like spray painted gold or whatever. It's a powder coated paint, which is uh, one, just cool. But also I watch my wife and I watch a number of those like rescue and restore um, channels on YouTube where they like find old vintage toys or old vintage uh, tools and then totally restore them. And the, our favorite guy that we watch, who is named, his channel is Rescue and Restore, he uses the powder coat paint for everything. And it's like, it's just super satisfying to watch him do it. So there's a little bit of extra incentive there for that. You know what? Let's move this guy like that. There you go. Now you can have a bit more light. So yeah, powder coated. And my wife actually wanted me to make sure I let her know when these are open so that she can feel it. Because we've been like talking about, oh man, what, is, what does it feel like when the metal's got that powder coating on there? Oh, it's really, it's, it's very soft. It's very smooth. All right, I, I have to call her in. Okay, honey, come on in. She's coming. She's on the way. Freaking cool. Yeah, it feels great. All right, here you go. Powder coated. Ooh. Right? Did you have a chance, like, could you do matte or glossy? Or is this just how it is? It's like a metallic. It's really nice. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, Lady Mars under cameo. Yep. Hi. <laughs> Very cool. Isn't that cool? Hey. Getting Cameron, say hi. Hello. There you go. Goodbye. Thanks. Thanks, babe. All right. Cool. So the goal here is swap these grills out with these guys. And how's that going to look? Basically like this. Look at that. Oh my God. That looks freaking sick. Doesn't look so freaking cool. Uh, hmm. Do I want to try these instead? Because I think these ones might actually not be gold. I think these are copper, if I remember correctly. Let's open them up and see. I don't know how long this mod's going to take. I've never done it before. I mean, it could be something that I can get done in just a couple of minutes, and then we're going to be like sitting around wondering what the heck we're going to do with the rest of the stream here. Or it could be something that I'm just dumb and will take a while to do. But let's see. It is copper. Yeah. It's also a lot more like metallic-y reflective. Look at that. So yeah, we got gold and then kind of a coppery. It's still pretty much gold, but it looks shinier. So shiny gold versus a matte gold. Cool. So let's see. Our options here are, uh, there you go. Boom. Right there. That looks freaking sick. That looks super cool. Yo, what's up Inferno? How's it going? Always fun modding some headphones. It sure is. And I've never done this before. I've never actually done a grill swap on a hi fi so this will be super fun. Modding time, that's right. That's right, house and honeycomb. <laughs> I like it. Yeah, look at that. That looks freaking dope. Or we can go this route. Very, very thin. That also looks really, really dope. Man. Hmm. So, okay. 
let's have a little chat about this. Let me grab my other hands here. Oh god, I almost dropped everything. Let me dust this off a little because I haven't used them in a hot minute. And I live in the desert, so everything gets dusty really, really quick. Okay. So we got two sets of grills and two sets of headphones. I have our nice chromey chrome uh, HE560s here, V4s, I believe. And we got the matte blue HE6SE. So these are the 6X, the 6SE. I keep wanting to throw an X in there. Is arguably the better performing headphone. So not I don't I don't really know what that what that matters. Oh my gosh, a raid? What? Thank you so much for the raid. Wow. Authentic authentically auth I can't say it. Oh my gosh, words are hard on me today. Authentically Tev. Thank you so so much. Pickle raid. <laughs> oh hey Valkyrie. Welcome in. Welcome in. Oh wow. Thanks everyone. Let me give you a shout out here. Really quickly. Thank you so much for the raid. I hope you're all doing well. Welcome in, everyone. I am Master Marslander. I'm a variety streamer. And today we're just modding some headphones because I'm also a real big headphone guy. So let's uh let's give you a shout out here. Uh shout out. Boom. Bam. Hopefully that went through. Okay, great. Welcome, welcome in. I really appreciate it. Um, yeah. So how, how was your stream? How'd everything go? Where, where were you all hanging out and doing? Were you doing some more Final Fantasy? Doot, 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 doot. Okay. And now you all know how to do a shout out. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Cause you're watching me type. Sure. Yep. Headphones. It's headphone time for real. What's up, Ty? Good to see you, buddy. Good to see all you. I hope you're all having a great Wednesday. It's been a, I feel like it's been a hot minute since I've gotten to see and talk to any of you. Stream is great. You were playing some more Red Dead Redemption 2. Sick. I've never finished it. I've never finished Red Dead 2. Red Dead 1 was one of my favorite games of that like PS3 era. And uh, Red Dead 2 is also fantastic, but I've never, I've never finished it. Yeah, we got lots of Red Dead lovers in here for sure. You're in good company. You're in very good company. So yeah, uh, first thing I'm going to do here, so we're not losing track. It's going to make things a lot easier for me, I think, if I take the headbands off of these headphones. So that's the first thing we're going to do. I'm going to put these guys over here for now. Get out my trusty and not sponsored iFixit kit. find ourselves just a simple flat simple flat head I think that'll do it actually I'll leave the tray out because we can use that to collect our screws okay so let's do this oops always feels a little bit wrong <laughs> but uh you gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah, where where are you in Red Dead right now? That's a good question. Okay, that came out pretty nicely. And then you. Is this in camera? Okay, good. Real quality content here watching me unscrew a headband. <laughs> is this how you want to spend your Wednesday night? I do appreciate you guys being here though. And we're almost there. Okay. Now they should just kind of pop off. Yep. Okay, great. Let me put that guy to the side for now. So we just kind of have a better look at this. Let's take the maybe let's take the pads off just for fun. Come on. What the heck? Okay. 
Huh. They should just pop off. That's weird. That's locked in. Twist. Come off. What are you doing? Why are you doing this? Ah. Well, okay, whatever. <laughs> It'll be a, a bit of a struggle for me to figure out. Oh, I got right. No, I didn't. I have it backwards. Okay. One, two. Is that right? Okay, we got right. Okay, fine. I won't remove the pads, I guess. Whatever. So, we need to decide what kind of grill she needs to go on this guy. Yeah, they're just twist and clipped in. They're not that big of a deal. They're just kind of like a twist and pop off, but for some reason, this doesn't want to give. Like, it's a little loose. I don't know why it doesn't want to come out. But it's fine. I don't want to mess with it too bad. Okay, so I did try to watch a brief video on how this is kind of done. And uh, we're going to do our best here. I'm going to get a tiny little screwdriver. I thought that I would have to like undo the entire chassis here to get like into the driver, but apparently you don't. Apparently you just have to get rid of this ring right here. See that? You pop that ring out and then the grill will just kind of come off. So we'll give that a shot. And see what happens. This feels very wrong. Uh, can I go... Do I go under it? Mm. You know what? I'm not going to do metal on metal. That's silly and asking for trouble. So I'm going to take that back off. So I got something better. Something that's not going to scratch the hell out of uh, the chassis here. I got... Ugh. That's metal, but I got these guys. Here. We could try that. And we can also try one of those guys. I think that'll do better. All right. Thanks, I fix it. Wow. All right. Let's try this guy. I think it just kind of goes under and pops it back up. That's all you really got to do. It's kind of getting there. Oh. Look at that. Yeah. It just goes around. So you just kind of get it along the edge. This ring will pop out like so. It looks like it is a little bit fragile, so that's something you probably need to be really careful with. Because it looks like it's just these teeny tiny little lips here that can uh, keep it snug on the on the cup. So you don't want to snap and break these. These tiny little nubs. Look at that. It's all that's holding it on. Eh. The plastic tri tool. I mean, oh, you mean this? Yeah. Okay, great. And then I guess the grill just kind of falls off. Yep. Look at that. And there's the driver. That's what the inside of the planar driver looks like. Look at that. That's the back of the driver right there. Those are solid, solid magnets. If I had a piece of metal to touch that, it'll just whoop, stick right to it. Big, strong magnets. Isn't that cool, though? Look at that. So what's neat with uh, doing the grill mod here is we're also not going to be applying um th th this looks a lot more opaque to you right the reason is because there's a cloth fabric behind it it's hard to see but it's like a, almost like a cheesecloth back here for extra dampening so one we're obviously getting bigger holes than the stock grills right but also we're not gonna we're not going to have that uh dampening material so the idea here is that it's going to kind of open up the sound a little bit Potentially, but like I said earlier, that's not really why I'm doing this. I'm doing this for aesthetics, man. So the question now is, do we want it like this? Which looks freaking sick. Oh my God, that looks dope. Or 
do we want it like this? Which also looks super dope. I'm going to let me get your okay. Let, let's have a chat about this. Let's have a chat about this chat, and you can help me decide. This headphone, the 560, is the one that's chrome. Look how shiny and chrome it is. Wow. I have two thoughts here. Either one, we keep the shininess consistent and do shiny to shiny, right? Shiny grill to shiny body. Or we give it some contrast and have matte grill to shiny. What y'all think? Also, hi, Kit. Welcome in. You're working on art and writing into a Mars lander. Ah, well, working on art should always take priority. Welcome in. Very good to see you. The option almost disappears over the driver. Oh, yeah, the, the this one. Yeah, it's like it almost is not there. Look at that. Pretty cool. You like the contrast? I think I also like the contrast. And again, I just, I kind of feel like the shiny grills are just a bit more. Oops. Oopsie there. Ah, got stuck on the. It just, I don't know. It feels like it belongs here. Look at that. That's freaking sick. Okay. I made my mind. Matte grill on the 560s. So we have that nice contrast. And I believe we basically have kind of accomplished it. <laughs> It's not, it's really not as difficult as I thought it would be. Now I just need to make sure I'm getting everything lined up the way I want. So let's see, I'm going to do right there. I'm trying to line up at the bottom here. We have that little square piece right there. That little, uh, where the headphone jack is. I'm trying to align the bottom of that pattern with that little black box there to try and keep everything nice and even and straight. It may not even matter, but. And I guess I just kind of pop this guy back on. Could it really be that simple? It's really that simple. Oh, it kind of moves around a little bit. Maybe I just didn't have it in on the way. Hold on. I think that's it. There you go. Look at that. Wow. That's freaking cool, man. Look at that. I dig it. Oh, that looks so sick. That looks so freaking cool. Oh, man. Look, compared to just that, like, come on. Look at the difference. That's so freaking cool. Just stock, bud. Oh, I love it. That's so dope. All right, let's uh, let's do it with the other. All right, the other side here, the other driver. So obviously, one problem that you are gonna get with doing a mod like this without having that dampening foam, that dampening foam also not dampening foam, but dampen dampening fabric material that's on the stock driver here doubles up as also like a dust protection to keep dust away from the driver. So by me doing this, I am exposing the driver to more elements. So I'm going to have to just make sure I'm a bit more careful with like how I store these things. Probably not just leave them up on my shelf on their headphone stands to collect dust. I need to be a bit more careful about it, but that's okay. I'm willing to do that. All right, let's get this guy off. Move you over there. I don't need to take these off, but I want to. <laughs> I want to feel like I'm doing some work here, you know? <laughs> Maybe it doesn't really matter, but gosh dang it. It makes me feel like I'm, I don't know, committing more to the mod here by taking off the, uh, the chassis. I don't know. If I did want to add some like special kind of dampening mod or any kind of like 3D printed um 
I don't know what you would call it. Uh, some sort of like, what does Ryan call them? Freaking, uh, oh my God. Baffles. If you want to insert some like custom baffles inside of the chassis, you would have to do this to uh, get behind the driver, but we're only doing the grills, so I don't need to do any of that. Come on. There we go. And there's the headband without a headphone. Oh my God. Put in the work. <laughs> Keeps the grills from slipping around, probably. I mean, they. I think that mine. I don't know. Yes, I'm sure. I'm sure it does. Okay, so. I think we went in from the top, right? Let's do that again. Yeah, just pop it. Man, it's so easy. You just pop it and then go around. And then just. Boop, pops right out. Wow. To think, I spent so, like a freaking year waiting to do this. And it's so easy to do. Jeez. Ah, uh, whatever. I'm having fun at least. Man, look at that freaking driver in there though. And just wait till you see the uh, HE6 driver. Like this already looks badass. But man, the HE6 driver is gorgeous. All right, next grill. I want to try and match it as best as I can to the other one. I think it was, no, not there. Nope. Is that it? Yeah, okay, that's how it goes. Right? Yeah. Yep. Cool, all right. Grills on, basically aligned. Line up those hooks. Get in there. And you go, boyo. Did I mess it up? It's not it's not quite getting in there right. Let's see here. Hit the lip right there. Lip to lip. That should do it. Just snappy poo in there. Click click click. I think we're pretty much golden. No pun intended. Why are my fingers green? <laughs> you probably can't tell us from the camera. Right there. My thumb too. What the heck? Oh, you know what? We have this drawer in the kitchen. And I don't know when this happened or why this happened, but we had a little bit of food coloring in that drawer. And the food coloring f just completely exploded and got food coloring over everything in that drawer. And that's like where we keep all our like measuring cups and such. And ever since, it's like no matter what I do, if I go anywhere near that freaking drawer, I just end up getting crap all ink all over my freaking fingers. Did I mark the sides? Uh, I can tell from pads because they're angled. See that thinner down here, thicker back here. So yeah, it'll be fine. So if it's, it goes this way. So this is the left, the left side. In you go. In you go. It's a very good point though, crazy. <laughs> if I was doing this on pretty much any other kind of headphone that didn't have the pads shaped that way, I would definitely want to make sure I'm keeping track of which is which.
I should probably do this on camera. We're doing a stream here, for goodness sake. All right, put that guy back on. Nice and snug, but not too snug. Then our other guy here. Come on, in you go. Another thing that you could do is you could do a headband mod really easily. Um, it's not as easy as just undoing these screws and taking this headband on and screwing on the other one. You will have to actually take apart the driver, pull the driver out. And that's really struggling to get in there. Um, because there's a, like a rubber, what do you call it? A rubber gasket within the chassis here that is meant for this kind of headband in particular. So if you want to swap out this stock headband with say something like the Sundara headband, uh, it, it would connect a little bit differently just because of the way it's built. So you would actually have to take off the pads and then remove the plate to get behind and inside the chassis here to take those gaskets out. Otherwise it would, uh, wouldn't fit right. But I'm fine with this headband. It's, it's okay. Yeah, that's like, something's all wonky about this pad. What is going on with these pads? They're like loose. They shouldn't be loose. Why are they loose? I don't know why they're loose. Whatever. I'm sure it's fine. Okay. And this guy goes this way. Come on. Get in there. I'm getting my fingerprints all over the chrome. But that's fine. Can't get over how big the actual earphone part is. You mean the, the driver? Yeah, the driver is huge. This is a planar magnetic driver, so it's not a dynamic driver like what you would see in like a speaker. Dynamic drivers are your, you know, more standard kind of driver. And most headphones are dynamic drivers. And again, they just look like speakers. Planar magnetic drivers are, as the name implies, primarily magnets. It's an array of magnets rather than the like speaker diaphragm that goes in and out like this. It's a layer array of magnets and you have a very tiny itty bitty super hyper thin diaphragm in between the magnets sandwiched between them. And then the magnets going back and forth is what produces the sound. It's very cool. Yes, these are considered normal headphones compared to some of High Feynman's gigantic ones. For sure. And that's that. Look at that! Oh, they look so freaking sick! They look amazing! Oh my god, dude! That's so cool! Oh, so worth it, man. So freaking worth it. I do wish that these didn't slide around. I don't know if you could really tell. Yeah, they see how they kind of slide around a little bit. It doesn't really matter, but I wish it didn't. I guess an easy way to get around that is just like take some blue tack or something and stick it like in there a little bit underneath the ring and probably probably be fine. But it doesn't matter. They look freaking dope. They look great. I'm more concerned as to why this pad is loose. I don't know why you're so loose. That's weird. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, that's... I must not have this one on all the way or something because it rattles in my ear. The grill 
is rattling here. You can probably even hear that if I talk over it. So that's not great. Do I have this snug all the way on? I think I do. Hmm. This is right there, I believe. I mean, as long as I'm not shaking my head around, I'm sure it's fine. It's not, it's not, it's not the best, but it's, it's all right. Can I take this off? I guess I could. I'm not going to though. Besides, I'd rather, I want to try it without. I want to try them. Uh, <laughs> you know what? Normally I would say that's blasphemous for doing this, but put this guy over here. Since we're using, you know, fun gold colored grills and everything. I'm going to go ahead and use my Viking weave cable to connect these guys. And we'll give them a spin. Cool beans. Turn that guy on, turn that guy on, turn that guy down, turn that guy on. And uh, so we don't get just completely demonetized here. I'll just throw on, throw on some near or something. Okay. Uh, let's do copied city. It might help if I have the right source selected. Actually, no, we did, we did copy city not that long ago. So let's do, let's do force kingdom. Is that not coming through? It is. There we go. I'll pump it up a little bit for you guys so you can hear too. That's true. Who doesn't shake their head around when I listen to music? That's a good point. Yeah, the new ones are just a hair thinner without the felt. That's exactly the problem in uh, Inferno. So again, I just need to get some like easy tack. Put it on there now. I think that will deal with it. I'm waiting for the chorus. It does sound really nice. Here we go. Yeah, doll but glue too. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What is going on here? I was getting massive distortion on my left channel for some reason. That's odd. Why would that happen? Let's try this again. No, it's fine. Yeah, no, something's going wrong with the uh, left channel. 
It can't be because of the grill. Huh. I don't know. I wonder I wonder if it's because the grill is touching this little P PS not PSP PCB right here. Could that be why? That might be why. Let me try like holding the grill away from it a little bit. See if that helps. This is some really Mickey Mouse stuff we're doing right now. Oh! Thank you, Rai! Now it's fine. <laughs> really strange. I don't know why it does that. Very odd. But yeah, I mean, still sounds like a 560. I do feel like the bass got a little bit elevated. Just a smidge. Not really that much. Modlander. Oh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Master Modlander. Thank you very much for the resub, Rai. I super appreciate you. Causing a short? I don't know if it's causing a short. It's so hard to tell. Oh, oh God. I shuck the, I just shuck the entire world for you. I'm sorry. It is, I mean, it's just barely over that PCB there. I'm going to assume that is what's going on. That's the middle of the, because on this one, the fabric was um, probably acting as a bit of an insulator to keep it away from touching that PCB. So if I just take like a little piece of, a tiny little piece of foam and just like glue it right there on top of the PCB. One, it would ensure that the metal grill is not touching the PCB. And two, it'll add that little extra bit of kind of uh, tension to keep the grill from not sliding around so much. So that's what I'll do when I have some foam to glue onto my headphones. <laughs> but anyway, very cool. Very, very cool. Put this away. They look great. They look badass. And that was my, my goal here. Make some badass looking headphones. Mission accomplished. Cool beans. All right. Now let's do the... HE46S. What am I even saying? The HE6SEs. Thank you, 460s. I will save you another time. Um, put you right there. These boys. I'm really looking forward to seeing these these uh, drivers because I believe they're I believe they're gold. If you can believe it. All right, I'm not going to bother taking the cups off this time in case that for some reason has something to do with what happened with the uh, 560s. So we're just going to pop these guys off like normal. Hopefully it should be just as easy. It is. It absolutely is. Easy, breezy, beautiful cover girl. And now for that beautiful driver. Oh my God. Look at that, man. Oh, the 6E has such freaking beautiful drivers, dude. Wow, wow, wow. That's freaking dope. Oh my God, I cannot wait to see how this looks. Here we go. <laughs> oh 
my god, man. Look at that. <laughs> That's so freaking cool. Oh my god. Wow. See, again, though, we are touching that PCB, so we'll see what happens. But man, that looks sick as hell. Gold over gold, what a great choice. Oh. And how, like, how serendipitous, I guess, that the, uh, the coating on the driver on the, on this one is a shiny chromatic level, um, shiny and chromatic to match the shiny chromatic grill on the matte headphone, whereas the chromatic matte chassis headphone has the matte gold grill on a matte colored driver. Because that driver was not as shiny as this one. God, that looks freaking gorgeous. Okay, let's see here. How do I want to match you up? I want you to be right there, I think. Well, ooh, ooh, ooh. right there. Yeah. Yeah. That looks good. Try the foam behind it. You mean like this? Boom. I mean, that is very, very pretty. For sure. Well, okay, you mean the foam, so let's actually turn this maybe upside down. Not the foam, the fabric. So that's what it would look like with just the fabric behind it. That is very, very nice. But I want to see that driver, man. How do I have this again? Right there, right? Yeah. Just a bit to keep it from shorting out. Yeah. I, I mean, I will. I will do that when I have um, some little bit, little piece of foam that I can cut apart and then just kind of tack on here. I don't have anything like that right now, but I, I will do that before I like really try running these any any substantial way. Right there. That's the way to go. Yep. Okay. I'm realizing none of my phone's at a weird angle. That's why I'm having a hard time getting this to line up on the screen for you. Uh, and this guy should go right. In there. There he is. Snap. Snap. I think that did it. Oh, that's actually a bit a bit tighter. That's good. But look at that. Oh my goodness me, that is a thing of beauty. Holy. Let's do the other side. Come on. There we go. Pop, pop, pop. Bear, bear driver. And then, whoa, don't do that. There we go. And where was it? Right there, I think. Let me check the other side really quick. Okay. 
Yep, that's it. Right there. Again, I can't believe that this mod is as easy as it is. I thought it would be more involved. And I was ready to really kind of like, you know, whip out a video or something to make sure I'm not doing things wrong, but freaking dog hair. <laughs> yeah, it's super easy. There you go. That's what seems to be kind of nice about planars in general. They're just a little bit easier to modify. Well, there it is. It's absolutely stunning and gorgeous and beautiful. And oh my God, look at that, man. God, it's so pretty. <laughs> but once again, this is way, way more exposed than it was stock. So I have to be way more careful now with like how I store these. Maybe like put a baggie over them or something so that I don't have to worry about dust. I mean, it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world if a little bit of dust got on the, on the driver. I could always maybe just, you can probably use like just air, right? A little bit of air pressure, as long as you're not using too much that would warp and destroy the uh, diaphragm. Look at that, man. Does it void the warranty? No. I mean, because I can always just throw these back on. It's fine. No big deal. All right, let's see how these guys sound. Herdinger. Click, click. Ah. Click, click. Here we go. These are extremely difficult to drive. Luckily, I got a Wandala. Haha. <laughs> Not Wandala. <laughs> Luckily, I got a ferrum stack. Let's try. What's a fun one? Dark Colossus. Okay, let's try something a little different. Let's try Mafia. This is an amazing soundtrack. Okay. Interesting. There's a piece, there's a part here I want to wait for. We're just going dilute, 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 dilute. Right here. Interesting. Hold on, this is meaty. That brass. Okay, cool. So, uh, interesting. It seems like, for when I was listening to that near track earlier, the bass seemed like really 
strangely growly. Um, it might have just been that track. That's a really kind of aggressive track. But it, it bass sounds totally fine here. What is interesting, though, is I'm pretty sure. Not not, not pretty sure. I am sure because I noticed it. There is a noticeable up tilt at like the mid treble. And like the high mids. Like some of those uh, more. Higher frequencies were really kind of like. Coming at me more <laughs> like th those strings when they were like sharp ones or sharp notes, not like long uh, drawn out notes, but the sharp quick ones were like stabbing me and not in a bad way, not in like a, it hurts. It sucks. It's painful. It's fatiguing, but it was like, it woke me up. Like I'm sitting, I'm like, Oh yeah, this is, this is smooth, brassy, delicious. And then bam, like smacks me in the face. Cool. Interesting. You know what? That's actually really, that's actually really cool because I, I mean, I, I love the stock sound of these. Let me unplug them before I blow them up. I love the stock sound on the four SEs. The only minor, not complaint, the only kind of minor criticism I have with the stock sound of the six SEs is that they can be, especially compared to like the 560s, a little bit dull, just a little bit dull. Like they're not super energy they're not super impactful is that the right no they're not they're just not super engaging they're very very clean and clear and high high resolution but uh compared to some other headphones they they just aren't quite as poppy but doing this seems to have brought out a little bit more of that sparkle in that high mids that's cool yeah, a little too clinical, Inferno. That's that's good. They're a little they were a little bit too clinical. They're not <laughs> It's so hard, it's so hard for me to say. I don't want to mislead. I love the stock sound of these. They are very clinical, but they're not sterile. With this mod, they're even less sterile, okay? <laughs> Just a, a little bit, but it's enough that um it woke me up. So that's cool. That's dope. All right, well, uh, there we go. Headphones modded. Let's uh, let's take a look at this together, side by side. I don't want to. I think these are basically the same. You know what? They're not. That's surprising. The grill here in my left hand is the grill from the S the uh, six SE, and then this one is the. Uh, 560 it might not be very easy to tell from the camera but the holes in this one for the 560 they're a little fatter like there's a little bit more i don't know it's so hard to tell also you know what i see what's going on My, I'm gonna, okay we'll do this one at a time here is the grill for the uh, 6SC. Those look round, but if you look closely, you'll notice they're not perfect circles. They're actually hexagons. Right? One, two, three. No, not hexagons. Um, what's the six-sided one called again? Oh my god. <laughs> it's been a while, man, since I've done my freaking geometry. But they're they're not perfectly round. They're not perfect round holes. They're they're shaped. Hex is six? Oh. I thought hex was eight. What's eight then? What's eight then? Hexagon. Oct octagon. Look, man, I've been to school in a while. <laughs> Whatever. That's uh, fine. So yeah, they're they're hex they're uh, oh my god. Yes, hexagons. They're hexagons. They're not perfect round circles. Whereas the ones on the 560s are. They are round circles. You see that? That's the difference. Weird. Like they look identical, but they're not. I'm glad I checked. So these need to stick with the 
these guys. These stick over here with this guy. Okay. Yeah, like an octopus. Makes total sense. Here's what we got. Here's what we did today, folks. Chat, you and me. You, may, you, you helped me make it happen. Look at that. Boom. Freaking badass. That's so freaking cool. Man, what a difference. What a difference. They look so sick. Wow, wow, wow. Very nice. <laughs> Thank you. We were watching the most recent video from Custom Cans and was just surprised how much grills matter on the, the Edition XS. Uh, interesting. You know, I have, I still have yet to hear an Edition XS. I, uh, I don't know if they're watching right now, but you know what? If they are watching, they need to hear this anyway. I got a contact with hi -Fi Men to try and get me to send me some stuff. And it, it was going well. It was going fine. They're like, yep, we have all your information. We're ready to go. We're going to send you stuff. Get ready for it. I'm like, okay, great. And they ghosted me for like a month. And I can't, the, the rep the rep I was working with will not talk to me anymore. They're just not responding. I'm like, hey, haven't heard anything. Haven't received anything. Uh, haven't even gotten any, any tracking. I don't know what you're sending, if you are sending. But I haven't received anything. Want to make sure you're not like, Sending stuff that's getting lost in the ether. Hello. He never he never responded. <laughs> so that was a wash. Maybe he sent a pic of that eBay guy to let him show what his products can do. Oh, like for his uh, like to promote his product. Like, hey, man, look what your grills did for me. Oh, yeah. Look at that grill. What's funny is I'm pretty sure on his eBay page, he has these exact headphones um, pictured. So, cool. We did it. Neat. Zoop, go back over here. All right. Well, that's really all I had planned today. Yeah, perfect, right? So, yeah, thank you very much, Arctic Cables for making cool stuff. I bought you on a whim and you did not disappoint. Super, super cool. What the heck, Hi-Fi Man? I know, right? Just ghost me like that. I don't get it. I I assumed it had something to do with the Chinese New Year, which was happening like right at the at that moment of conversation. So I assume, oh, they probably went on vacation for a couple of weeks and I just lost contact, but I tried. I really did. They just disappeared on me. Yeah, pretty cables too. I'll have to look up her cables and give them a shot. My guess is it's probably primarily IM cables, but you never know. I'll look into it. Okay, well, I don't really have much else planned here. And frankly, I'm okay with ending it a little early because, uh, you know, I gotta get back into the groove of streaming. I'm a tired old man. I can't do your these confounded three-hour streams like all you youngsters out there. I can't do it, I tells you. Ah. So, yeah. Cool. We did it, chat. That was fun. Thank you for being here. Thanks for hanging out. I really appreciate you all hanging out with me, spending time with me, and enjoying some headphone shenanigans. With practice, you'll get there, Grandpa. <laughs> What's up, Epic? Good to see you, buddy. Oh, boy. All right, y'all. Let's uh, find someone we can read out to and share all this Wednesday love. I'm going to get my phone out of my face. Close that. Boom. Not the most elegant solution, but I guess it kind of worked. Maybe one day when I'm like feeling really, really like pro about doing this, I'll well more more pro than I already am. I'll get another uh, secondary camera. Pop it up here. I like to get like a. Okay, I'm a camera guy too. Okay, 
I'm, I went, I did film school. I did film. I've done films, film stuff. I like cameras. That's why this camera is pretty decent. It's a simple Sony camera, but it's a mirrorless. It's nice. It looks nice. I got the nice prime lens on there to give me this nice bokeh effect. What I would love to do, and this is super, super overkill. I want to get an FX3, pop it right there, and then take that camera and pop it right here for the top-down feed. But that's just a dream for now. I can't drop that kind of money. All right, folks. Get that raid to. Who can we raid out to? 